As the United States prepares to accept 100,000 refugees amid Russia's war in Ukraine, existing communities in cities like Sacramento are already mobilizing to provide food, shelter and support to people fleeing their homes. Few details are available so far from the federal government on when the former resettlement process will begin and where people will go. But Ukrainian networks in the U.S including through churches, are already providing support to people entering the country through informal channels, including on visas that will eventually expire or by flying to Mexico and crossing over the border. The Sacramento region is home to the highest concentration of Ukrainians in the United States, with about 18,000 people. This is according to the Migration Policy Institute. Seattle, New York City area, and Chicago are also hubs for Ukrainians. The federal government has not yet provided details on where refugees will be resettled, but it's likely many will go to cities that already have a strong Ukrainian communities. And you're here and you, you can do nothing for this. Only you can do it just work and help like some. Well, the UN Refugee Agency, the UNHCR, says that more than 4 million people have now fled Ukraine following Russia's invasion, a new milestone in the largest refugee crisis in Europe since World War II. It said 4.1 million people had now fled Ukraine, and of those, 2.3 million have entered Poland. Million mark. Um, I think it's a tragic milestone. Um, it means that in less than a month, or in just about a month, four million people have been uprooted from their homes, from their families, their communities, um, in what what is the fastest exodus of, of refugees moving in recent history. Look, I think always as aid workers, we, we hope for the best and prepare for the worst. Um, the numbers have certainly at least leveled out in the past week or so, and we hope that continues. We hope people are able to, to find safety uh, and establish themselves in different parts of the country. We're starting to see some people um, returning, um, not in huge numbers, but some people just say, OK, my family's managed to relocate to the West of the country, I want to be with them. Um, so it's it's a bit of a mixed picture, and we hope we hope that uh, you know people are you know peace returns to to Ukraine, and that people don't have to flee. But but certainly we're not resting, thinking it's not going to happen again. There's, it's very likely until there's a political solution, you could see further movements of people.